You're listening to the Water Cooler Edit with Chris and Rich. Hello, everybody, and welcome back to another episode of the Water Cooler Edit with my Beaut. On this episode, the Palm Jebel Alley is back. There's Michelin star restaurants. Do they have two or three stars? Maybe one. We'll find out. There are also new parking signs to help you find parking and pay for it faster. All this and more on this episode of the Water Cooler Edit. It's myself, Chris, and Rich. Hey, man, how you doing? I bet you're excited about the parking uh, situation. I tell you, I can I can barely contain my excitement about the uh, being a being a non-driver. Um, I can, the, 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 it's the biggest news of the year for me, Chris. Well, uh, you can <laughs> you can now pay for the parking. You Fantastic! Know. Yeah, I can. That can be my contribution. <laughs> you get chauffeured around. So, you get uh, pay for the parking. Yeah, I get chauffeured around, but that's uh, when it comes to parking. That's my duty. But of course, we'll get to that later on. But the first really big piece of news is, and I was quite surprised actually because I was actually on the palm when they kind of relaunched this, and mm. I was wondering what what was going on on the left hand side of the road because mm. they had this massive drone show, right? And it said Palm Jebel Alley. Granted, it was backwards because I was driving. Inland, yeah. So it kind of looked like, you know, it's just like a jumbled bunch of exactly. letters. But then the palm came out with the fronds, and I was like, "Is that Palm Jebel Ali that's coming back?" And it is. Palm Jebel Ali is officially back. It is, yeah, officially back. You know, the idea, well, not the idea, the project initially started way back, two thousand two. It's twenty one years, right? Um, and construction uh, ceased in 2008, right? The, the, the global financial crisis had an effect there as it, as it did everywhere. Hence why it was global. Um, but, uh, I mean, it's quite, it's there, isn't it? It's there. You can see it if you see satellite, not even satellite shots, drone shots. You can see the Palm Jebel Alley. You know, it's over two times the size of Palm Jumeirah. It's two times as big. That's pretty... Uh, yeah, I knew it was sizable. Yeah. I didn't realise it was two times the size yeah, of the Jumeirah one. Right, so it's two times and it's going to add 110 kilometres of uh, coast, coastline to Dubai, which is like considerable, to say the least. 80 hotels, resorts and uh, malls um, combined, not like 80 malls. I was going to say, that's, that's a lot of malls to have in one place. 80 <laughs> malls. Got one on uh, front A, one on front D, one on Z... Uh, one on the, the front of it, the trunks and everything like it'd that. Be, if there was 80, there'd be, uh, just, there'd be effort. It'd be one yeah, in the back true. garden. Yeah, that'd be great, wouldn't it? <laughs> I need to go pop in and get a video game. Right, where are we going? The mall. Where is it? Oh, it's there. The Chris Mall. There you go. Just be oh, video game shops. Amazing. No, yeah. And cars. Can't forget cars. Oh, as well. yeah, cars. Yeah, and yeah, pink yeah. G-Shocks only. <laughs> I'll, have a one sing- I'll have a singular watch shop. This is it. Yeah. Yeah. So, um, yeah, look, huge project. We don't have a date as in when it's expected to be finished, but one thing that has, it's tied in with the Dubai government's initiative to double the size of Dubai's economy by 2033. So we can kind of take from that that there's some time within the next 10 years they want this project to be complete and and up and running. Um, It's combined seven islands. Uh, They reckon 35,000 families will live on this. Um, it's huge. It's a biggie, Chris. It's it a biggie. Is. And it is quite far out there as well, because I think it's up past Jebel Ali Industrial Area, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, it's right near... Um, have you ever been to Jebel Ali Resort? Yes. Yeah, it's literally right there. Okay, so there's a little bit further out of the city, mm-hmm. but obviously there's Jebel Ali Free Zone is there. Not Industrial City, sorry. Jebel Ali Free Zone is there. Yeah, Jaffa, yeah. Uh, and there are a number of opportunities. That obviously, Expo is right around the corner as well. It's yeah, it's not too I think far it's just a road there. down. Mm-hmm. Uh, the 66 Road, if I'm not mistaken. No, it's a different road. You would know better than me. I, I don't know the answer I don't to do that road names. But no, the expo, the expo road is literally right there. So obviously, um, it would be great for those who want to go see the expo pavilions that are permanently open. Yeah. Uh, those who are working nearby and say, in the free zone, yeah. I think DAFSA is up there as well. The airport is obviously very close by as well. Mm-hmm. And you're about an hour away from Abu Dhabi. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, it's unbelievably well located. Um, and it's always been... I've got a trivia question for you. Do you want a trivia question? Let's do it. All right, okay. So... There were three palms. There were three palms, right? There was uh, obviously Palm Jebel Ali, which yep. is back and bigger and better than ever. Um, palm Jumeirah. Yeah. What's the third one? Palm Dira. Woo! But if I'm not mistaken, it's now called Dira Islands. You are mistaken because they've changed the name. Oh, they have? Okay. Yeah, well, yeah, but well, you were yeah. right, right? So Damn. It, uh, <laughs> it started as uh, Palm Dira. Yeah. Then Dira Islands. Now Dubai Islands. 
amazing. So, so one where they've just opened the beach where you can, it's dog friendly. Yeah. 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 Oh, okay, cool. Yeah. Can I take my cats? Uh, no, can no you... cats allowed. It's only dog friendly. Yeah. Okay. You know, you can't take your fish either. Or, oh, okay. Or any... I can't take my fish for a walk. Oh, yeah, you can't That's take your, 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 your python. You can't take your python. Oh, you're just ruining everything for me. I don't want to go to Deer <laughs> Islands anymore. I want to go to the other one. It said Palm Jebel Ali. They're, they're cat friendly, probably. We've got to move on from the Palm Jebel Ali because there is now uh, some more Michelin star restaurants. Well, there's actually some that have retained their Michelin star rating. It works from one star to three stars. And for those of you who don't know, it is the same people that made make the tires. It is Michelin still. Yeah. But this is their rating system for fine dining restaurants. This year, just been announced, three new restaurants um, have got Michelin stars for the first time. Are we going to have a trivia and then guess where they're all located? Avatara, which is a uh, vegetarian restaurant, as I say, got, it's got its first Michelin star. Where do you think okay. that is based? I'll give you just a geographical area. Okay. Yeah, go on. Where do you reckon? What is a geographical area? Well, is like, it, is it Marina the, would be a geographical... Is it in the UAE? Well, we'll see as this is the <laughs> Dubai Michelin Guide... Uh, no, it's in Birmingham in the UK. No, right, it's, okay. it, it's, it is in Dubai. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> um, okay, so if I say it's in Dubai Marina, am I warm? Or am uh, I ice cold? Kind of warm, but it, but this area where it is, is more of a... I'm going to give you a massive clue here. Okay. Uh, it's more of a road. What famous roads do we have here? <laughs> Bypass road. The bypass road, yes, that's it. This is that's it exactly. Shakes Eye Road. Oh, it's, it's in the. Was close. It's the uh, Avatar restaurant, as I say, all vegetarian restaurant. Um, it's in the Voco Hotel, which I personally haven't been to, but it's uh, situated on Shakes Eye Road. Right, so that got its first uh, Michelin star. I am referring to my notes, but this is how it goes. Uh, dinner by Heston Blumenthal. This one is definitely on the palm. It is indeed. I've Woo-hoo! seen. I've seen the. I was the, when I was there. The. Uh, I went for an event with Great Wall. That's where I saw the drones and I saw Heston Blumenthal's face everywhere. This so, is it. Okay, right? good. So, I'm right. on. so, yeah, but it is on the palm. But could you, are you going to go just to, are you going to go for the big one? Are you going to go for exactly where it's situated? Or, you know. I will keep my one singular point that I've earned so far out of the three questions that have been asked. Fair enough. So, I will not, I will not risk it. All uh, right, it's the uh, Atlantis the Royal. It's in there, right? Damn. Um, easy. And we've got uh, another one, which is called... Mo- I love the name of this restaurant. Uh, Moonrise. Fantastic. Um, as, as in the moon know, rising. Like, where, where, give me a clue. Um, it's very similar to where Avatar was uh, located or is located. So it's also on Sheikh Zahid Road? Basically, yeah. <laughs> okay. So I've got two out of four. That's a good result. That's 50%. Yeah. It's a rooftop restaurant, some, uh, a luxury residential tower, I think, called Eden Tower. Right? Okay. So we've got that one. We've got... Uh, then we'll just... Shall we go through the two stars? Three restaurants got two stars. Okay. Two of those restaurants retained from last year. So you've got Il Ristorante, which is uh, an interesting name. Ristorante. Uh, you've got Stay by Lanik Yannick Alino. And a new one is called Tresind Studio, right? This has got it's it's not a new restaurant, but it's got it's it's gone from one star to two stars. This one is situ- well, okay, where is this one situated? What was the name of it again? It's called Tresind Studio. Or Trasson. I don't I'm not entirely sure. Mm. Studio City would be too obvious. Yeah, I wouldn't, I wouldn't focus too much on the studio aspect. What should I focus on then? Uh, high profile locations. Uh, so maybe somewhere like downtown? High profile locations you might have already mentioned. So downtown? Where you saw some drones. Downtown? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> downtown, no. but you didn't let me finish. Downtown Palm Jumeirah. Exactly. Yes. There we yeah, go. Yeah. There you you go. get it eventually. Uh, it's another one on the palm. Like basically, you know um, where the view is on okay. the palm, right? They, it's you, which you can get to the big kind of tower. Wait, isn't the whole palm a view anyway? Like everywhere you go, there's a nice view. The yeah, sea, yeah, this is true. The palm actually. itself. This is greenery. True. Yeah, it is. Yes, it's, it's aesthetically pleasing it all is. over, but. 
Um, there's the place, there's the viewing gallery um, at the tower that kind of comes out of Nikhil Mall. At the top of that tower, there is a restaurant on the east side, which is Tracin's studio, um, uh, an Indian restaurant and fight Indian fine dining restaurant, and that has two stars as well. So there you go. Congratulations to those guys. Yes. So if you're wondering, there are no restaurants that have a three star rating as of recording. Mm-hmm. There might be one, but I think it's a yearly thing when they yeah, get. Yeah, it's stars. a yearly thing. So we'll find out next year. This, the two star ones will be hoping to go up for up to three star. I think it's very unusual for a restaurant to open and suddenly within a year be a three star restaurant. So usually it's a kind of progression through the star ratings. Now, our last bit of news here, of course, is the updates that the RTA have introduced to make parking that much easier across the Emirate of Dubai. This is only in Dubai, and they've introduced a new sign. There's about 17,500 of these new signs, and they're scattered all over the Emirate, and it helps you pay for parking for one, and, of course, it helps you direct uh, to where the parking is. It also gives you information of the area code, because, of course, every parking area will have a separate code. And, of course, it'll tell you the fees of how long you can do it for. So, for example, it'll show you one hour. Oh, sorry. It starts from half an hour. Mm-hmm. And I think that's usually around two dirhams for half an hour. Mm-hmm. Then it goes up to maybe four for an hour, et cetera, all the way up to 16. Some areas obviously do differ. I'm speaking experience where I live. For some reason, it's uh, up to 16 dirhams an hour. There are other areas, uh, sorry, up to four hours, excuse me. And there are other areas that 11 dirhams for four hours. Yeah, basically these signs, I mean, it obviously still has the zonal code and you can still do the SMS, right? I mean, that's part and parcel, but they, these signs have QR codes, right? So, which gives you, you can scan the QR codes uh, for different methods of payment, I believe, like through Apple Pay and things like that. So they're rolling them out. I mean, I don't think 17,500 have just magically appeared overnight. So I think it's a progress, right? It's a, it's a process, I should say. Um, but I think you have you seen one yet? Uh, I've not seen one. No. But now when I go home, I'm going to look at. I'm going to see if I can find one because I've got to park. I'm going to park outside. Apparently, today. you should be able to find them because apparently uh, they're lit, so you can see them at night. I don't know if the previous signs you couldn't see at night. No, but... they were, I would imagine they were quite hard to see actually in some areas. <laughs> they, were, they were orange, weren't they? The previous uh, ones. Or... Well, the up top it was orange. These ones are now white, and I think they go underneath. Right. So they'll still have the big orange signs at the top that would direct you to where the parking is. Mm-hmm. And then underneath, they'll have the scannable QR codes and all the information that you need. Oh, nice. Yeah. So basically, um, should be easily to view, easy to view at any time of day or night. And um, and should make payment for your parking wherever you may be uh, an easier and smoother process. I it think is. that's the plan, man. That's yep. the plan. And it's great they've got the QR code so because you can scan uh, one of four QR codes. First one is for the RTA website. The other one is for app uh, app click. I think it's for something to do with Apple devices. Mm-hmm. And then the other one is to go to WhatsApp. And then there's a fourth one at the bottom that will basically show you more information that you need to know uh, about parking uh, in Dubai by the RTA. So a very informative board. Yeah, totally. And QR codes uh, at the moment are taking over, right? Yep. But thank you so much for joining us on this episode of the Water Cooler Edit with MyBeaud. Of course, if you want to learn any more about the topics that we discussed on this episode, you can, of course, check out the blog, which is beaud.com forward slash MyBeaud. Thank you so much for joining. And now parking is that much easier. You're listening to the Water Cooler Edit with Chris and Rich.